YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic Underwater Base. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro showing you as to what you're going to see here today. Uh, we have a brand new vehicle, we have a brand new section of the map, which is actually really cool because it's kind of tied to the story of the underwater base, and I'll explain a little bit more about that uh, here in a minute. But yeah, I uh, got a new vehicle that we're going to show off. Uh, we're actually at the main base right now because I wanted to show you guys how to get to the new section. Uh, it's actually across the map. So we have the main section over here to the right. Uh, there's the aquarium from the last episode. And I'm going to build a little bit more onto that, but I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to add to that yet. So we will be getting back to the main part very soon. And over to the left is the military base which that's also kind of on hold until I finish the current project that we're doing right now, and that's going to be the cave. So anyways, we're going to drive over there right now. But remember, folks, if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic, maybe leave this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel. And let's drive over to the other side. Now, we are driving the CG Rover. Uh, this is something that I wanted to do. It's like a research craft. It's a big rover, obviously. I mean, you can see the character is actually quite small in here. So it's a massive rover, and it's also got a vehicle, like a mini rover, attached to the back of it. I'll show you guys how to deploy that here in a minute, because we're going to need that to explore the base, be or to explore the cave, because the cave is kind of small, or at least the corridors are really tight, and this rover is definitely not going to get in there. But yeah, this is something you guys wanted to see here in the base. It's really just a research rover. There's not anything too special to it. Uh, it does have a couple cool features on the inside that I'm about to show you. But as far as the way it looks, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. It kind of looks like a mixture of a space uh, rover, something you might see on, I don't know, the moon or Mars. And it also kind of looks like some of the underwater rovers that I've seen. Now, most underwater rovers are actually remote controlled. I don't see, or at least I didn't see any too many manned ones uh, from the pictures that I was looking at. But I figured... I would want one for the base because this is all pretty much make-believe. I mean, it's not really <laughs> realistic. So I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and go crazy here and build a big rover, a big research rover for the underwater base. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and drive over to the uh, cave over here. Now the cave, this thing was a pain to build. And I'm still working on the backside of it a bit uh, because I'm going to show you guys what I had to do to make a cave in the flat map. It took just a little bit of creative work to make it look right so we're gonna pull to the front of the cave here and we're actually gonna go on a little tour of the rover first and then we'll go explore this cave so yeah rover wise uh, we're gonna hop out here pretty big here's the uh, main cockpit area you've got the three seats uh, you've got the captain's chair and you got a couple co-pilots here now you're gonna see a lot of buttons in a lot of my builds it's just a visual thing uh, most of these buttons are dead. Uh, they're just there for kind of uh, make-believe purposes. It just makes it look a whole lot better. It makes it look like there's a lot of controls, even though most of these don't do anything. So yeah, you've got that here. Uh, the colors, the the materials, the way everything is inside this rover actually does match the underwater base quite nice. Uh, all the colors are pretty much the same. Uh, it's kind of been the way with most of my vehicles and most of the corridors in the underwater base. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, you walk back here. Here's a little research area. Actually, I call this more like a control area. I actually have a little lab in the back that we're about to check out. But yeah, it's a little control area. You would have a, a couple crew members here, actually four crew members. that can come in and uh, work the controls. you get got all the monitors up here. Uh, it really actually looks pretty cool. Uh, this would be kind of cool to actually do in real life, even though this is all fake. But, you know, I like to pretend. I don't know, maybe that makes me weird. But anyways, uh, we're going to walk into here. Uh, this is a little hallway connected in between the main sections. And we're going to come back into the research lab. So this is where the scientist would be. And obviously you're seeing a little plant here that we're researching. Uh, I've got a little theory as to what the underwater base is all about. And a lot of it has to do with the glowing plants. Uh, you've seen them all over the videos. You've seen them in the research lab in the main part of the base. You've seen them in certain areas of the map. I don't like to spawn too many of them, but I have a feeling this is something that is very important to the people here underwater. So uh, you guys can come up with whatever, whatever theories you want to come up with. I actually would like to hear from you guys. What do you think this is all about? Just kind of comment below and let me know. But anyways, uh, we've got that there. Uh, here's a little underwater or a little tank here. 
If we have any live specimens, we can stick them into here. So yeah, you're probably asking yourself, well, how do you get outside? Obviously, we're inside. It's nice and dry in here. Uh, we've got a little airlock system over here, so we're going to hit this switch. Uh, it's activating the lights. The warning lights are going right now. Say it's draining or it's about to fill up, depending on if you're coming or going. So yeah, you walk into here. Uh, you're going to hit this button here, and it's going to fill up with water. Now, there's two ways out of this thing. Uh, the main way is going to be the elevator that's right below us. Or, if you need it to, you can use the hatch up here. Uh, you can always do that if you want to climb out the top. There's actually a seat block up there if you want to hop out. But, we're actually going to use the elevator. So yeah, this elevator shoots you out the bottom. You can go ahead and click that button there and it'll go back up. Uh, if you need to call the elevator, it's going to be right here. It's just a simple piston mechanism right here. I just thought it was a neat little touch. At first, I had a ramp in the back to get in and out of. But then I realized I wanted to attach a vehicle to it. So... We have a mini rover here. Now this craft is for exploring, mainly the cave, but you can use it, uh, say if we build some little tight areas like the cave or like any cliffs or anything that we need to get through, uh, we can always use this to explore those areas. Let me give you guys one more little visual here on the ground of the rover. Actually really proud of the way this thing came out. I actually took some suggestions from people uh, from the Discord. Uh, a lot of people said that the arms up in the front looked a little too skinny, so I've made it a little bit beefier looking. I've added some supports and added some uh, pieces to this. So yeah, uh, it works really good. Uh, you can download this on the workshop if you want to. But yeah, to the rover here. So to deploy the rover, you've got a switch right here, or you've got a lever over here. Say if you want to make the ramp go back up, you can always hit that. But yeah, you want to hit this, go down. Now, this vehicle is attached to the big vehicle. So when you download it on the workshop, they'll be together. And if you played Scrap Mechanic, you guys know what to do here. You're just going to go up here and break this right here. And the vehicle is ready to deploy. So you can just drive it off the ramp. Uh, we're just going to move it real quick and put it over here. And when you're done with that, you can always just hit this here. And there you go. Now, if you want to reattach it, of course, you can drive around with it. This uh, ramp will support, uh, this thing's not very heavy, and it will support driving around with this on the back. It does lag a bit, so I would suggest probably welding the little rover down to this ramp section if you want to reattach it and drive off. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and put that back down. And we're ready to check this rover out. Now, this rover is actually very simple. It's a six-wheel vehicle. It's really made to go inside and explore areas like the cave. Uh, you can collect samples here in the back. You would actually hop out the top roof hatch uh, to get out of it. It's got some uh, lights here in the front to light your way through the cave. So we're going to stick this over here. We're going to drive it around here in a second, but I kind of want to show you guys the cave because that's the main thing I'm excited for for this episode, even though we have a pretty awesome vehicle over here. Now, you guys have came up with theories about what we're doing here and a lot of people did actually catch on to the glowing plant and what that might be and I basically pictured that being a very very valuable commodity down here underwater and it could be something that's also very very dangerous so that's where I kind of came up with the cave idea here now as far as the cave here there's certain dangers that may or may not be in there i'm going to work on some things i would like to have something that maybe pops out so i can assure you guys nothing's going to jump out of you this episode it's just a it's pretty actually empty in there there's a couple of things in there i do want to show you but it's a, a pretty detailed cave and there's several ways to get in there you can actually get kind of lost uh, there's several paths in here but if you're wondering how i did this cave I'm going to go around to the side, and that's going to be really... I left this kind of blank so you guys could see what we were doing. So, what I'm doing, I've got the vegetation mod on. Now, the vegetation mod has the trees, but it also has these rocks here. And what I'm doing, and I figured this is actually really kind of clever. I think I saw Moombo do this uh, with like a volcano or something he made for his little island map. And I figured this would work really good for a cave. So you're seeing the concrete walls back here. I'm placing these in certain patterns, in certain ways, and covering them with the rock, which is down here. Let me go and scroll down to the bottom and show you guys, give you guys an example of how to do this. And it's made it to where this actually looks like a, almost like one of the natural caves that's in the game. Uh, let's see, where is this? 
There it is. Okay, so grab this here. So what I do, I place like a concrete wall down and then I'll layer this. So we'll layer the rocks. We'll kind of twist them every which way. Just kind of don't put them all the same direction because it would look odd if all the rocks are like this. So that's what I've been doing. And I've made paths in here. I've made the ceiling go up and down. There's cracks. There's plants coming out of it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys real quick how we were actually doing this uh, whole cave here. So let's go ahead and walk into the cave and explore it. All right, before we take the rover in, we're actually going to go in on foot here. So here is the mouth of the cave. This is the main entrance. And as you can see, check this out. This took a long time to do, to do it right, to make it look somewhat natural. Now this is all the same rock piece, but it doesn't have a collision to it. So I was able to kind of mesh them together. So it actually looks really neat down here. So we got that, you've got a bunch of plants. Yeah, you can already see some of the glowing plants. I've added some lighting down in here. Now there's some uh, certain little cracks here. You can kind of see some of the uh, concrete exposed. I need to fill those up a little bit more, but yeah, you can see I've actually uh, used some lighting down here and you'll see some examples of it uh, over, I think I kind of get lost. I made several uh, paths here. Let's go down this way. This could be a dead end. Actually, this is another entrance. This is one, if you're claustrophobic, you would not like this. Uh, you kind of have to crouch down and this kind of leads out to the side here. You can see our rover over there. So yeah, let's go ahead and climb back in here. Uh, I'm actually, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm claustrophobic, but I don't, like, I don't freak out in tight places, but I don't feel comfortable in them. So maybe it's like a mild case or something. But yeah, uh, you can see some of the uh, glowing plants over here that we might harvest. Uh, walk through here, some rocks. There we go. And now we're going to walk back into the main section of the cave and kind of see what other places we can get into here. Ah, here's a nice little den of these plants. Now, I don't know why the military would want these plants, but I'm going to kind of spill the beans a little bit. Everybody's been pointing out, and you can go to almost every one of my underwater base episodes, and everybody's been asking, what is up with the bodies? Well, the plants might have a little something to do with why there's bodies all over the place. Uh, these might be toxic, and I'm probably, I shouldn't be standing here right now. But yeah, uh, people have been asking all the time, Komodo, what is up with the bodies? And there's your explanation right there. Uh, you'll see various bodies all over the place. I had nothing to do with that. It's all the plants. So yeah, walk, ooh, what is that? Yeah, <laughs> that actually kind of creeped me out. I, I forgot to place that there. Uh, that's actually a couple little glowing eyes. I do want to create a creature for the cave here, and I don't really know what I want. A like, part of me wants like an octopus, but a part of me wants something else, something that you might not see, something not common. And yeah, that's kind of creepy over there. So anyways, we're going to walk back here. Now, there might have been life here at some point because we have an entrance to like a little underwater temple as you can see here they've got the nice red glow i've actually got uh lights placed behind the walls here and i aimed them up so you're getting a kind of an ominous red glow here over the top so it looks pretty awesome actually and it looks like an old entrance to a temple here so we can walk into here this is actually just really neat <laughs> I don't know, sometimes you forget what you're building and then you come back and look at it and go, wow, I actually like this. So, yeah, we can walk into here. And of course, what might be in here besides the glowing plants? Probably the most valuable thing ever. The ducks. Actually, I, I didn't really know what to put in here. I, I, I don't know. Now, you guys can come up with whatever should actually be in here. Pretty sure if there was like an underwater temple that is pretty much destroyed from an old civilization yeah there wouldn't be anything left in here so it's just basically ruins but i thought it would look pretty cool and this was something that was actually suggested in the discord server of mine so i do want to thank you guys for making all these suggestions it's actually really cool uh bouncing off ideas from you guys so yeah i uh, really happy with the way this came out you've got some kind of purple lighting in here looks really awesome so we're gonna walk back out give you guys one last view I would like to expand upon that. I might make some more rooms, maybe some secret areas. Uh, maybe maybe actually make it look like it used to be a city. 
Uh, but I'm going to wait and see what you guys think about it first uh, before I really go any further with that area. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and try the little rover out. Now, the little rover is really only going to be able to go in a couple places here. A lot of stuff you have to do on foot here. So, of course, you would have your wetsuit on uh, with your scuba gear. It's probably some sort of futuristic scuba gear, to be honest with you. Uh, just kind of to go along with the theme of the whole base. A lot of people ask me uh, certain questions like, well, this doesn't seem very realistic. I'm like, this is an underwater base with military items, trains, like this is not supposed to be realistic. This is all about fantasy here. So anyways, let's go ahead and, nope, not that. Let's pop this open. Here we go. So we got a hatch in here. Uh, most likely uh, you would already be in this thing. Not this, this uses the same drain system that I've talked about before with a lot of my airlocks. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Uh, this is really just a basic vehicle. I just wanted a small vehicle that you could take into the cave if you wanted to instead of just walking on foot. Uh, that's why I need to expand this cave out a bit and maybe make some more paths. Uh, but yeah, you can drive into here. Let's actually go into first person here. Uh, something, this glass might be a little too dark. Maybe we need to adjust that. But yeah, you can drive into here. It fits perfect. Uh, it's really nimble. It's uh, four-wheel steering. You've got the uh, actual four wheels on the back. You've got the... Actually, I kept saying, I think it's called this a six-wheeler. It's actually an eight-wheeler. I forgot I had the two wheels on the front, but uh, really nimble. Uh, we can kind of weave our way in and out of the cave here. Of course, you would get stuck in areas like that. So it's really made to uh, come in, maybe harvest some of the uh, the glowing plants and take them out of the base uh, or take them to the base. I don't think, can we fit under here? Oh, that is about as tight as a squeeze as it gets. Wow. I didn't think we'd actually make that. So yeah, you can come into here. This is probably one of the main areas to harvest. Uh, or either that or you have that one area over to the side that's got all the glowing plants. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. Uh, this was a bit of an experiment as far as the episode goes, because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do here. I didn't know if this was completely possible, uh, but I actually kind of proved myself wrong. I was doubting that I could do this cave area, uh, but I, after kind of getting encouraged from you guys and a lot of, of the suggestions that you guys wanted to see something like this, uh, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and take this on and try to build it for you guys. So, honestly, we're probably going to expand on that even more, and I would like to have some sort of creature in there and maybe do something more with the ruins. But it's another area for you guys to explore here in the underwater base. I know a lot of you guys do download the map here. But anyways, folks, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. We got quite a bit done here today. We have this sweet new vehicle, which will be on the workshop with the uh, small rover attached to it. And we have the big underwater cave, so if you want to download the map, this will all be in the latest download link. Uh, mods will also be in the description. If you do need any help, if you have any issues, comment below, or you can probably contact me faster by joining the Discord uh, that I have. That will also be linked uh, down below. But anyways, folks, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, we will be returning to the underwater base once again next week. I'm going to probably limit these to one episode per week now and tackle some other builds here in Scrap Mechanics. So if you have any suggestions for that, comment below also. I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.